All right, here's a little video of my bar top arcade. Um, it's off right now. I had the wood laser cut. Um, I don't know. I made a post. There's an image or album if you want to uh, see everything more detailed on how I did it. But uh, here's the back inside. You get the speakers, some mesh, uh, an iPad LCD, the display board driver for uh, the iPad, thanks to Chinese for reverse engineering that. China's good like that. Um, here's the wiring, close up of that. IEC 120 volts in on the left. And then that's obviously AC and outputs 5 volts DC. Um, single pull, single throw switch for the on off switch and same kind of switch right here. That's a power switch for the Raspberry Pi. And then when you flip it the other way, it runs a shutoff command so you don't mess up the SD card and other stuff. Um, yeah, six buttons on the front, two on the side for start and select. Um, little audio cable here. I have this right here so I can quickly unplug five volts to the Pi because I was having some issues with the buttons on the joystick where I killed a couple when I was soldering them. So I had to replace them, and I was doing a lot of diagnostics, so I had to unplug this, and eh, yeah, so I just put those in, so it's easier to disconnect them. Um, this is a little audio amp, really small. It's got a volume control here, so you can turn the speakers off if you don't want to know people around you, or if you want to, sometimes the emulators just spit out awful, awful noises, and you just need to turn it off, so yeah, that's nice. Uh, a little switch here, so it's all off right now. It is plugged in, so that is 120 live. Um, speakers, 3 watt. Well, they, I mean, they're not great, you know what I mean? But they get the job done. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, to turn it on, that's going to give power to everything. But it's going to say no signal. So, flip this switch. And you get my messy apartment. So yeah, booting into RetroPie with emulation station as the front end. It uses majorly RetroArch um, as like for a lot of stuff. I, I don't know if you can hear that. The speaker is just kind of crackled in. Um, Okay, so emulators I don't have working are MAME because apparently, fuck you, it's impossible to get them to work. Um, I've been struggling with it really hard. Same with Neo Geo. Those two are, I've tried it up, I, I don't know. You spend so much time on shit. But I do have, I'm going to start off, well, yeah, let's do some classics. So B and A is like a main thing, and then once you get into emulators, you can click the select button and you can jump. Um, I've been I, 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 there's a bar in Denver um, called one, there's two of them. It's called One Up. It's like a bar. I'm sure there's probably one in your city, but it's an arcade. That's a bar, um, and you, you go there and you fucking I don't know. I just hate paying so much money to like losing a game in 30 seconds. It's like God damn it. So I wanted to get good at the games before I spent my money on them. And so that was one, <laughs> one fire. They call me right as trying to record this. So we'll get back to Galaga. But yeah, so yeah, Galaga. I also just like Galaga from my childhood. So I wanted to be able to play that with, I mean, I can play, I mean, you can play with an emulator and a, like, you know, a gamepad, but um, it's just nice to have a joystick. Um, yeah, I don't know. Now I just fucking... My high score on this is... I want to say I got like 43,000 a few days ago, which I'm sure is nothing impressive really to anyone, but 
I beat the 30,000 that that was starts with. Up for the challenging stage. Oh, see if he's going to do the right swoop. Is he coming down? No. Come on, Mr. Chad, man. Here we are. And now, obviously, sometimes you like kill a guy, but you don't get him back, and I, I have no idea why. And he comes back at like a later level. Or you can, yeah. What's up? Take a couple cheap shots while he's spinning. And now I'm at the challenging stage. What's up? And... Oh, no! I'm not going to get the perfect 40. Like I've ever done that anyway. Oh, I was right. I barely ever actually guessed the amount. So I'm so double, that means I'm instantly going to die here because I'm such a wide profile and it's impossible to keep them. We'll see how I can do. Oh god. Ah, see, there it goes. Back to the one shot. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm alive. If anybody knows what the flashing one up on the right side means, let me know. Um, I'm pretty sure that means it's one player, but I have no idea. And I feel like there's some kind of challenge I should be doing to get the one up. Because I definitely have gotten eyes before, but I don't know what the criteria for getting a one up is in this game. Challenging stage. You guys are seeing me, and these guys go straight up. I'm just not gonna die, guys. Going for the gusto. That's not true at all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fuck! Oh, I got another. When did that happen? Nice. And it's still die. Okay, almost beat 40, but whatever. Okay, so Galaga. And that's the exit command. You slap both of those. And you get back into Ness. Um, one of my childhood favorite games. Obviously. M N L P Q R S T U Q Per Contra? There was a Super Contra? 
So you learn new things every day. But the Super Contrast on the regular Nintendo. Uh, I'm just going to show Super Mario Bros. 3. Oh, and for all you piracy heads out there. actually own this game. So there you go. I actually own some old games. I have a bunch more, but... So I'm not just stealing all of these. And a lot of it is exploration and abandonware and old shit they don't sell, so... Uh, you know what I mean. I'll just play the first level. Because... I actually did get to World 8 on this thing with the two whistles. And then promptly... Uh, I actually did get through the first cannon level. So, I mean, like, the, the joystick controls are, you know, it's not as responsive. I mean, I've been playing, I just beat, like, Spelunky with an Xbox One controller and a D-pad. And that's obviously my, like, if I'm doing platformers or stuff, that's, that's my preferred. I love the D-pad on the Xbox One controller. It went from like the worst part of the Xbox 360 controller to the best part of the Xbox controller. Okay, so that's Mario. That's just another NES game. You guys know that. Um, Super Nintendo. So saves do actually work. I have been playing, obviously, another classic, Donkey Kong Country. This game is actually hard, a lot fucking harder than I remembered. Um, Yeah, I got nothing else to stay. Just a fucking hard game. It's fun, though. Um, yeah, the safe states are working. I just love the buttons, man. Obviously, I haven't fucking... You know what I mean? I'm just starting out, but... The very first save point. Gotta beat this guy. Oh, fuck. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to bop him on the head a bunch of times. Maybe have to roll through them. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's Donkey Kong. Safe skates are working. Um, I don't know what else. I have a. Uh, I actually have to, to launch it. I don't know. Checks quest. I get it to work with a keyboard. I, I, I haven't. Yeah, I actually don't want to need a keyboard for it to work. I haven't completely mapped out all the buttons for that, but I, I can't get it to work. Um, I don't know. So yeah, pretty much, I think some of the ZX Spectrum games are working. Maybe not, though. Whoa, whoa. Probably not. I feel like these actually weren't working. Yeah, it was an Atari 2600. These were working. I don't know anything about these hard drives. Oh, Asteroid. If this is going to be the Asteroid I think it is. No, this is not at all what the fuck I was thinking. Mm, I'm not even sure if that's... Okay, we're going to get out of that. Astro Blast. I died apparently. I got nine points though. What's up? Ooh, I don't know what I hit. Eight points that time. I'm getting worse. Or is that lies maybe? Oh, fuck. I can't tell if these are pre designed spots or if I'm actually. Controls in this up. Oh. Okay, well. So Atari 2600. Super old, but apparently it's working. Uh, Berserk. <laughs> Would you like to making for Berserker? Let's get, we gotta see what that is. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, am I playing? I am. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck you, bitch. 
Don't die too, motherfucker. I got SO. Alright, go to a different room. Oh yeah, new room, new people to kill. Oh, he's gonna fire at me now. What's up? Oh, I got electrocuted. Don't touch the blue wall. Boom, boom, boom. What's up, what's up? Going down, son. No! He got me! Right, enough of that. <laughs> Just, actually, it was kind of fun. What was, ah, uh, there was one game that was really fun that I actually liked on this. Centipede. Ooh, ooh, this is an arcade game, I think. Which, oh uh, shit. So I got, I actually remember this game working on MAME. One of like the three games I got to work on MAME. This looks like a run down version of it though. The graphics on the MAME one, well, I think were a little better. Oh, he's going down quick, he's going down quick, can I get him, can I get him? Gonna have to dodge him. Dip, dab, duck. Oh, motherfucker. Staying alive. Staying alive. Huh? Ah, fuck. So that's 2600. Let's see, Atari. Game Boy. Um. You know, I'm at Battle Toads is right there. Up for the Game Boy. It is a very rare production. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah. Yeah, motherfucker. Get wrecked. I'm not sure any of these buttons do. Oh, that is fucking axe. What's up? Mm.